ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ all of you with my love and respects i welcome all the devotees disciples visitors viewers sri mahans mahans kotari stanedars everyone sitting with us through nityananda tv and sadhana tv i welcome all of you with my love and blessings today i'll expand on some of the very powerful secrets to experience shivoham please understand i will verbalize what goes on in your inner space with your knowledge and without your knowledge when you are initiated into shivoham listen when i try to transmit this experience shivoham what goes on inside you with your knowledge without your knowledge consciously unconsciously subconsciously and superconsciously what is happening inside you i'll explain the first thing you need to understand for you to live shivoham do not expect the external evidences external witnesses external reasons because you were life image swa anyakara you were perception about life and others is so deeply corrupted it is so deeply corrupted i tell you today i am just in a such a joy one small thing happened today morning the pada puja one devotee who did pada puja his wife both of them came to take the blessings she seeing me first time first thing she asked i should support my husband in all the endeavors whatever he is doing i should support him more and more and encourage him i just felt my whole heart flowed and blessed both of them let both of you whatever you want become reality i tell you it is not a joke even to have that space especially when you stand in front of somebody you know whatever now you are going to ask will become reality and you have only few minutes to ask and in that you find this thought means this is in your top priority list i was so happy i tell you guys i very rarely see people like this who carry the space of the idea they have about others and life so beautiful 
that they include that as in their top priority list. Normally the human mind and life and inner space is so corrupted. Your image about others and life is so corrupted. It does not find place in your priority list. It may find place in your laundry list last as a fine print. I have seen. So, when you start living Shivoham, when I start initiating you into Shivoham, in this Keep It Simple series, do not expect external evidence. Don't tell yourself, how can I be Mahadeva? If my wife starts listening to me, then I will believe I am Mahadeva. Or even for Mahadeva, Sati did not listen to him. What are you talking? Even for him, she did not listen. Don't try to expect external evidences. If my enemy gets destroyed, I'll believe I am Mahadeva. Or even for Mahadeva, he has to send Veerabhadra, Kalabhairava, to destroy those enemies and their enmity. When Brahma had ego, Kalabhairava was sent, internal administration. When Daksha had ego, Virabhadra was sent, external administration. <laughs> so do not expect immediately the external evidences. It is the inner space that need to start first. Let the attention be brought on the inner space during the period of initiation. Understand? If an egg is broken from the external, outside force, life ends. The same egg is broken from inside. Internally, life happens. <laughs> Shivoham is the initiation I am giving inside your being. Let the Life happen inside and break and come out. Don't break from outside with your doubt. Asking for external evidences immediately is like a breaking the egg from outside. Life ends. I felt to oh God, millions of eggs are wasted. Because the stupid minds, before the life can happen, enlightenment can happen, started asking for external evidence. At least during the initiation, wait for the life to break the egg from inside and open up and come out. I tell you, I tell you, during this whole process of Shivoham initiation, look internally and work on creating internal space and I take the responsibility to provide internal evidences and witnesses that you are Shivoham. That is immediately possible. When that opens up, you will see external evidences also. Just for that initiation period, 
do not ask the external evidence and break the egg from outside asking for the external evidence is breaking the egg from outside to see whether life has happened or not whether chicken has happened or not come on don't be the foolish monkey which digs out and sees the mango seed every day whether it has sprouted or not i tell you work on your inner space during the initiation that is the reason i have kept the program for 21 days so that in the 21 days you don't get into the stupid logic of breaking the egg from outside and by 21 days i know you will break the egg from inside life has happened otherwise even the stupid one stupid doubt some fool creates in your head why is he sitting in the golden throne is enough to break the egg from outside such stupid doubt because neither the doubt is factually right nor it is right truthfully factually it is not right it is not golden throne first of all and truthfully the luxury of simplicity i have cannot be taken away by this golden throne even if it is gold understand the word the luxury of simplicity i am defining luxury of simplicity means to keep yourself inspired and excited and enthusiastic alive i do not need anything from outside is luxury of simplicity Are simplicity is a luxury. It is not poverty. A man who tastes the simplicity will radiate grace. The luxury of simplicity. It's the property of Mahadeva. luxury of simplicity the ability to be constantly inspired excited alive radiating such complete inner image about you outer image others image and life image that is the simplicity where you do not need anything from outside to excite you either your senses or your sensitivity or your sensibility if you need something to excite your senses that is materialistic pleasures of five senses if you need something to excite your sensitivity that's the need for love romance emotional fulfillment if you need something externally to excite your sensibility that is like a need of knowledge and purpose all that but a man who does not need all the three to keep himself enthusiastic exciting radiating energetic only he knows what is simplicity 
simplicity is luxury understand neither this few pillows nor this throne can take away that luxury of simplicity from me understand simplicity is not as you understand poverty based it is a spiritual based the inner space that decides everything about life whether somebody is simple or not is not decided by the dress he is wearing or the jewels he is having or the car he is driving or the house he is living somebody can be living in a poorest and poorest poorest most poorest slum but he may need so many things to excite him from outside he cannot be enjoying enriching exciting himself from his inner space then he is the most luxurious guy he is not living a simple life understand somebody may be living in a palace but he doesn't need anything to excite his senses or sensitivity or sensibility from external way nothing external is required to excite him in all these three level then is the most simple being polenath mahadeva luxury of simplicity understand today i have coined a new word <laughs> socially ununderstandable maybe even unacceptable luxury of simplicity i want my sanyasis to inherit that from me that is the biggest inheritance you guys will have from me the luxury of simplicity in the inner space most simple that is why many time the newcomers get boggled they can't understand how i'll think how i'll act i am such unpredictable where they think i'll be most demanding i'll be most simple where they expect i am supposed to be most simple i'll be so demanding because i operate from the space of luxury of simplicity neither from luxury as you know nor from simplicity as you know listen the space of shivoham starts growing in the luxury of simplicity bliss of being shiva intoxication of being mahadeva yesterday one issue was brought to me they said one ashramite is going around and telling he is sundareshwara <laughs> i said thinking he is sundareshwara and going around is not wrong but telling he is sundareshwara and going around is something wrong <laughs> no you should be thinking 
You are Sundareshwara and going around. That, that is nothing wrong. That is so beautiful. You are walk, talk, thinking, inner space, cognition. Everything will become so beautiful. Like Sundareshwara. Now I wanted you guys to live like Sundareshwara. If you are a sannyasi, be Meenakshi and Sundareshwara in one body. If you are a grihastha, be like Meenakshi and Sundareshwara. That is my initiation. Think like Sundareshwara. Feel like Sundareshwara. Experience everything like Sundareshwara. I tell you, Mahadeva is in his best when he was in Inla's house in Madurai than in Kailasa, I tell you. The first time Mahadeva had three marriage, but the same person. <laughs> the first the marriage with Sati, father did not accept. Second, marriage with Parvati, mother did not accept. It took long time, then mother settled down. Only in Madurai, both accepted. Of course, Father was not in the body when the marriage happened. Meenakshi's marriage happened. But both accepted. So he was the proud son-in-law, only in Madurai. Neither in Haridwar, nor in Mandada. The first father-in-law's house was Haridwar. Daksha's palace. Kankal. The second was Mandada. Means in the Himalayas, there is an area around Kedarnath where the Parvati and the Himaraja lived and marriage happened. Second, father in law's house. Third, Madurai. In Madurai, he was accepted, respected, son in law. He was in his best in Madurai. So, experiencing or visualizing or feeling, imagining, you are Sundareshwara is great. His expressions are the most, sweetest, best in Madurai. The way he expresses the powers, are his beautiful sadgunas. Sadgunas means like love, compassion, the luxury of simplicity, coming down to play with people. Standing by the people, all the expressions, Sadgunas, as Sundareshwara, in his, how he is described in the Thiruvalayada Purana, doing 64 Leelas, in that he is more expressing than how he is described and portrayed in Shiva Purana. Leelas done in Kailasa. That is why I am telling you, you imagining, visualizing, your Sundareshwara is great, but it has to write, experience, start expressing from inside out, not from outside in. 
if you start going around and telling you are sundareshwara people will create so many doubts you may start using those doubts and hit your own egg from outside which is dangerous but if you start thinking you are sundareshwara you will create so many internal evidences and witnesses that will start expressing from inside and create so many evidence and witness outside it life will happen see it all boils down to this one logic do you want the egg to be broken from outside or from inside that's all if you want the egg to be broken from inside have patience and practice again and again practice even telling i am sundareshwara is not something wrong but when these stupid fellows have their doubts in their eyes you are so unconscious you pick up those doubts and start hitting you you demand the chisel and hammer from them and you start hitting you from the borrowed chisel and hammer and externally you hit and break the egg that is what i don't want if you just feel radiate you will suddenly start expressing sundareshwara is such powerful expression listen constantly hold on to that space you are mahadeva shivoham without encouraging the logic which asks for external evidence and external witnesses instead in the first start building internal evidences and internal witnesses the moment you remember i am mahadeva let me be in the bliss of mahadeva in the experience of mahadeva in the knowledge of mahadeva let your logic starts functioning in that first let the shiva bodha be built the first effect will happen on you is luxury of simplicity will happen simplicity which is the biggest luxury when i decided to come to the planet earth the first thing i packed and kept under my arms without forgetting or without leaving the responsibility to somebody else land i told hey you go and take it keep it ready for the sangha wealth i said all right you take it and go so many things strategy so many things i sent it through so many people and told them hey go and keep all the things ready but one i myself kept it under my arms without leaving it to anybody is luxury of simplicity <laughs> understand this one property i did not leave it to anybody i did not leave that responsibility to anybody because this is the most important property i need whether in my thinking or being or words lifestyle teaching in everything this one quality luxury of simplicity will be underlying current i tell you that's the biggest richness anyone can have the ability to be never dependent on anything 
ability to be never dependent on anything. Even now my whole life can run just with few handful of curd rice and tamarind rice. That also I am not dependent on it. <laughs> I tell you, when you start invoking Shivoham, living Shivoham, digesting Shivoham, breathing Shivoham, the first internal witness and evidence will, which will start getting built is luxury of simplicity. Grace of the independence. The grace of the independence. The people who don't know what is simplicity, those stupid fellows are telling, I am not simple. I really wanted to tell you guys, even contemplating Shivoham will start creating the luxury of simplicity in you. Start developing that internal independence, the richness, luxury of simplicity. You can see Mahadeva playing the game of all the four ruler in Madurai, but he continues to remain simple. In Tamil there are four words for rulers. Arulachi, ruling through the spiritual power. Means expressing all the spiritual powers and initiating, liberating. Arasachi, ruling the kingdom. He himself sitting in the throne. As Sundareshwara with Devi Meenakshi and ruling the kingdom, Padayachi means ruling through the vast army, Arul Achi, Aras Achi, Padai Achi. And Purul Akshi. Purul Akshi means ruling through the wealth by showering, giving. Ruling through the wealth, Purul Akshi. Ruling through the spiritual powers, Arul Akshi. Ruling as a king, administration, Arasachi. Ruling through the army, Padayachi. Mahadeva, doing all the four and continue to remain in the space of luxury of simplicity. I tell you, 
when you start cognizing shivoham the first thing happens is luxury of simplicity which can never be taken away from anybody once you start living the luxury of simplicity no one can take away that from you no one can threaten you live 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 shivoham 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 live 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 shivoham 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 that is why i am telling you the kundalini shakti avekan kundalini shakti is the biggest luxury you can have in your life and ability to use it as you want is the biggest independence you can experience in your life the day your kundalini is awakened and you are able to use it for yourself that is the day your independence day the day you are able to use your own kundalini to reach out to public that is the day for you republic day <laughs> when you are able to reach out to public <laughs> enriching them with this kundalini shakti help everyone with this kundalini shakti i want all my tanedars kotaris mahans sri mahans to be yogis living shivoham living shivoham living shivoham when you cognize shivoham the luxury of kundalini happens in you you will be able to help anyone to experience kundalini awakening only the person who knows the luxury of simplicity can be tyagaraja because whatever you need in the world he doesn't need go on go on go on cognizing shivoham 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 that is the only way you can burn your tiredness and boredom and i tell you the man who burnt the tiredness and boredom with this fire of shivoham only he knows the luxury of independence luxury of simplicity i tell you till you burn your tiredness and boredom even if you have 1000 cars different different cars for every day 
different different houses for every day different different wives for every day you will never experience luxury you will still feel you are deprived because the experience of tiredness and boredom is the root of the experience of feeling deprived if you can be bored not 1000 car even if you have 1 million car you will be bored if you can be bored not just 1000 houses even if you have 10 million houses in all the best locations of the world you will be bored so first burn that pattern of getting tired and bored with this fire of shivoham that's the only fire which can burn the pattern of getting tired and bored the moment you liberated yourself from the pattern of getting tired and bored i tell you you know the luxury of simplicity you are ever enthusiastic ever enriching ever excited ever enlightened one of the biggest problem the next generation going to is going to face is not hiv or ebola it is tiredness and boredom shivoham is the only antidote i am telling you the growing number of youth ceos becoming ceo billionaire multimillionaire by the time you are 30 study all their mind i am telling you after studying all of them thoroughly whether the founder of facebook or whoever all the youth ceos youth who have become multimillionaires or billionaires after thoroughly studying all their inner space i am making this statement understand i am talking very responsibly for the future of the humanity the biggest problem the next gen is going to face is tiredness and boredom not poverty not hiv not ebola that is the biggest tsunami going to attack humanity one and only solution now itself vaccinate yourself with shivoham shivoham is the only vaccination burn the patterns of tiredness and boredom with the shivoham have the luxury of simplicity which can't be taken away from you luxury of simplicity is the first internal evidence and witness which will start developing when you cognize shivoham expect that 
when you cognize shivogam first don't expect external evidence and witnesses and break the egg from out in to out no out to in i'll continue on this keep it simple series of shivoham one of my devotee came and told me she said swami ji my son thinks you are a new age guru i just laughed at him at her and said i am a guru for new age people but i am not new age guru understand i am as old as sun and as new as sunrise <laughs> as old as sun and as fresh as sunrise i am neither new age guru nor old age guru ageless guru happening for the new age that's all ageless guru happening for new age that's all don't classify me as new age guru no no new age guru as a guts to wear this big rudrakshmala <laughs> and sit in this type of thrones they have more luxurious big big modern cars which is too costly 100 times more costly than this throne they use all that secretly but they don't use all these because this shows this represents certain tradition certain ideology i am neither new age guru nor old age guru i am as old as sun as new as sunrise once in a while just to remind you guys life gets infused into life that is incarnation that is me life gets infused into life to remind you guys life is a life is a life kundalini gets infused into kula kundalini kula kundalini is the source kundalini available in all of you means like a kundalini snake coiling itself and be there in the inert state that is there in everyone and the kundalini getting infused 
into the Kula Kundalini. Means Kundalini waking up. Once in a while to remind you, your kunda, Kula Kundalini is not created to be there in the inert space. It is created to wake up and dance the life. Fill the Chidambara of your being. Fill the Chidambara of your being. To fill the Chidambara of your being. When life enters into life, life enters into life, to enter into all your life. Understand? My life entered into my life just to enter into all your life. Me entering into your life is initiation into Shivoham. Awakening your Kundalini Shakti. You entering into your life is enriching everyone around you. Enrich yourself, enrich everyone around you. Break the patterns, break the patterns of tiredness and boredom. Radiate Shivoham, Shivoham, Shivoham. Shivoham, Shivoham, Shivoham. Shivo. Essence of today's satsang. Go on creating the space of Shivoham in you. Be Shivoham. Radiate the luxury of simplicity and grace of independence. I bless you all. Let's all radiate with integrity, authenticity, responsibility, enriching and causing eternal bliss. Nityananda. Nityananda Dhyana Peetam, Nityananda Nagar, off Mysore Road, Bidadi, Bengaluru. Phone. 08027279999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifeblissfoundation 